Beloved by his fellow Italians and collected by some of America's biggest celebrities, Marco Sassoni is an artist who is really on an American journey. Marco, welcome. Nice to have you with us. Thank you very much. That is really an American journey that started very early. <laughs> you're in Venice, San Francisco, LA, uh, New York, you're, you're everywhere and people love, love your work. Now, what speaks to me, because I'm also an, I'm an amateur artist, what speaks to me is the power of your strokes and the force with which you, you create light that really focuses on the primary subject of your painting. That is something that I think comes from your heart and from what you see. Yeah, it, it is really, uh, basically, I come from a school of painting uh, from Oscar Kokoschka to my teacher and myself. So from my teacher, I learned the way of Oscar Kokoschka. He had a, a, a school of art, which was called the school of scene. Mm. You see, and then through your yourself, you put on canvas your emotions and your reflections. On top of that, I had the Machiavelli school, which are the Italian impressionists. They were painting with bro broken strokes. All this technical uh, mechanism, I carried with me to California. And that's why there was an impact there, because uh, uh, you are dealing with creating uh, light and color and reflections. And some critics were saying, yeah, but it's not just in one part, <laughs> it's throughout the canvas. Yes. yes. And I try to explain that I, my canvases, uh, you recognize my canvases because they are full. The entire canvas projects an entire, an entire vision of, of, of yeah. life. Okay. Yeah. I call it power. I think it's a very, the, each piece is yeah, very powerful, and I and I think power is really really speaks to this. So you put it all together in something called an American Journey. Why did you decide to do that? Why did you write decide to put a book together? That is uh, that was uh, actually a, a creation of love, because the book was journeying in between the journey. Basically, I decided <laughs> to write it because I was compelled to it. I, it was almost an act of liberation. I need to write my emotion of my life in art. And these reflections, I do hope that they are received, especially by amateur artists, uh, people in the arts, and artists in general, because uh, this is your core foundation. Um, so I decided to write to write. I started writing in my studio in San Francisco in, in the 90s. And I really didn't know how to begin, how to end. But I kept writing on pieces of paper on, on, on a variety of subjects. Some subjects were more narrative, other subjects more uh, cultural intended for uh, the art uh, discourse. And so all these pieces amalgamated in a text that I, people are finding it fascinating, and uh, um, I, I think it's pretty good, actually, when I reread it myself objectively later. I think it's always good when, when uh, an artist such as yourself reveals reveals more about uh, him or herself. In, in, sure, of course, you're revealing a lot in your artwork, but when you put it down in words, it seems to reveal that, that which motivates you to create the painting. And so, uh, for example, you, you love to teach young artists. You love to give young artists advice on their art career. What do you think this book will say to the young artist who's desperate to, to get recognized and desperate to make a career of their talent? Yeah, I touched this subject on the book. And uh, basically, the first thing that I will say, don't listen to anybody. That's the number one. Obviously, the number two is the passion that you have for for, for for this art, whether it is painting, whether it is music, uh, singing, whatever. But if you are in the art, you have a passion and uh, you have to follow your instinct. There is a voice inside all of us that tells us something, but you have to be able to listen to it. Sometimes this little voice is even annoying. 
but it doesn't matter. You have to listen to the subtleties. They will bring you to recognize yourself. They will bring you to yourself. In other words, you are discovering yourself in the process. And that's why I call it American journey. American journey, my life in art, because uh, through painting, I discovered, I found more of myself. I found the roots and uh, uh, and that was the beautiful part, actually. From you, came from, you came from Italy and it, it seemed to me that when in your early work, it was very dark. There was a lot of things going on, the Venice flood, your friends in Florence, Times were very difficult, but somehow you press forward. Tell me about those early beginnings with you. Well, the early beginning in Florence was wonderful. Uh, you know, I studied with a uh, great teacher in Florence. Uh, the, those were beautiful times. Uh, right after the flood of Florence in 1966, I decided to take a painting trip to go to California. <laughs> and uh, that was 1967. I arrived in California 23 November 1967 and another world unfolded before my eyes and uh, that was the beginning of my journey. So tell me about your impressionistic eyes of this American landscape because Southern California is very much in landscape and weather like parts of Italy and the south of France. It's very much the same way with a completely different twist on culture. What, what did your eyes see? Yeah, well, uh, basically when I arrived in Laguna Beach, California, I really saw similarity with the Mediterranean in, uh, in Italy, uh, except for the weather, the palm trees, the sun, and the <laughs> reflections. They were really strikingly amazing. and. Uh, uh, from the dark coloration of Florence because of the flood, all of a sudden I start painting on location on uh, wood panels because that's what I originally did. And uh, um, I couldn't believe it at that time. You know, I was a kid and yeah. uh, there were always a line of people watching me paint. I guess not many people painted on location. Uh, at least I never seen many. <laughs> and uh, um, there was, uh, a, you know, there was a change of subject matter, a, a, a change in uh, compositional colors and so forth. And uh, that was my California beginning. You know, you may uh, have started something because Laguna Beach, I was just there last weekend. It's the plein air capital of the world, and plein air means that you paint outdoors and you see it as you see it and you paint it. That, yes. That's that's a, that's a big, major piece of the art culture of Laguna Beach. Of Laguna Beach, yeah. Actually, I was telling my wife that uh, this uh, Laguna Beach was started by the artist in the in 1920 or so, and uh, right. basically uh, they are still painting. There is a group of artists that, uh, some of them I know that are still painting on location. And, uh, uh, that was my practice when I was young and I loved it. Uh, except that, you know, when you paint on location and you really want to express yourself in a larger scale, you have to have a, a larger canvas, you know, larger. And so I switched to canvas. But uh, going back to what you were asking me before about uh, the, the landscape painting is that um, my way of painting was like the Italian Impressionist with broken colors on the wood. And uh, so when I arrived in California, they saw something different. Mm -hmm. My work was sparkling and uh, I had an immediate success, basically, and uh, that led me to stay here. And I, I never went back to Italy except for, <laughs> you know, visiting. Yes, you are a, you're an inspiration. Your your talent is amazing. Your work is really, really uh, uh, passionate and 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 uh, emotional for a lot of us who, who are big fans of your work. And of course, you have all these celebrities who own your work as well. You continue to work, you continue to paint and show and exhibit. And now this book. So we so appreciate you being with us. The book is called American Journey by Marco Sassoni. Marco, it's been a pleasure having you with us. Continued Thanks. success and, and, and keep painting. 
Okay, thank you very much and uh, good work to you for uh, the painting. <laughs> yes, <laughs> someday I'll share my painting with you, Marco. All right, okay, <laughs> like to see it. Ciao, my friend. Okay. Ciao, ciao.